Oh, man. Point of view, you're about to get laid off. Look at that. Look at how uncomfortable she looks. Drinking that LaCroix like it's going out of style. This this is making me... Un I'm physically uncomfortable watching this. Hey, Brittany. Hi. Yes, I'm so sorry. I mean, my name's Rosie. I'm just uh, joining the call. Um, nice to meet you. I'm on the HR team. Oof. Can we just take a moment and pay some respects here, people? Whenever you join a meeting and then HR joins with you, like you know, you know for a fact that this is not good. Like this is not this is not a good situation. Okay, pour one out for Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Hi. Thanks for meeting with me and Rosie. Um, we have an important meeting today. Uh, we finished our evaluations of 2023 performance. This is where you have not met Cloudflare expectations for performance. We've decided to part ways with you. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. Sure. Um, so. It's a good move. Just stop him right there. Good job, Brittany. She came in right at dude. I don't know why she's filming this because I don't, you know, like I, I wouldn't personally want to to film my own personal experience of this one. Yeah, this is painful to watch. This is genuinely one of the most painful things I've ever watched. I started August 25th. I've been on a three month ramp. And then it was three weeks of December and then a week of Christmas. And then here we are. Um, I have had the highest activity amongst my team um, since I've started. I have had three contracts out, done a really great job managing my deals up until the very end that decided not to close last minute. Um, so I don't think that that makes a lot of sense for me in my Cloudflare journey here so far. Also, um, every single one-on-one -on -one I've had with my manager Every conversation I've had with him has, he has been giving me nothing but, I am doing a great job. I have had great activity. I have really great meetings. I. By the way, if that's true, if the boss is doing that and the boss is like, hey, you're doing great. You're doing a great job. I love what you're doing. I'm going to have to say that that's, that's pretty, that, that like just taking her at her word because, you know, I have no idea. Like that's, that's, that's shitty. Like your boss should be the one. That's helping you know if things aren't going the right direction, right? That's like number one boss requirement. I mean, what the hell are you doing as a manager if that is not like top priority in your life? Crazy. She's the cheapest from the team to fire, I guess. That's probably probably more correct is that they're looking for a reason to fire her. So therefore, I mean, if I, I have no idea because I know Cloudflare got a shellacking at recent stock times, right? So if we go, if we go, uh, if we jump over here, hey, hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube, are you guys being degenerate still? Probably. Uh, Cloudflare uh, stock, right? And I know they've been struggling. Uh, we go a little six-monther on it. Oh, wow. Maybe they maybe they aren't struggling anymore. Maybe they're, maybe they're winning now. Maybe they're winning. Man, they fired her after winning? I thought they were getting slacked. Okay. Well, look at that. Despite earnings and revenue uh, beats, Cloudflare shares uh, fall on Outlook. Okay, anyways, I thought they had a really poor outlook, like they had some, whatever. Well, anyways, I guess I'm the one that's wrong. Fake news, I got fake news out of my mind. Wait, please tell me that Twitter did not just, okay, good. Twitter did not just do what I thought it did. All right, let's keep on going. Sorry for the misinformation. I'm picking up the products very quickly, and um, things have been going really, really well. I make really great relationships with my clients. Um, so... I disagree that my performance hasn't been, um, I haven't met performance expectations um, when I certainly have just because I haven't closed anything officially. I hear you. Um... <sighs> yeah, I mean, that's hard. That's hard. If you haven't closed anything officially, that does, I mean, that's difficult. I, I'm just saying, like, when it comes to just paper, right, if you're just looking at someone's paper performance, that's where things get difficult. So, like, it doesn't really matter how good you are if on paper you don't look good. Like, that, that's hard, right? And she's been working there for what I think is four and a half months with Christmas break in there. Yeah, and so, anyways, the guy here is also, Why are you doing this and not my manager? Not, you know, we've never met, so this seems a little odd that... 
my manager has no idea that this has been happening and the director has no idea that this has been happening. So I'm just definitely confused and um, yeah, I would love like an explanation that makes sense. 100%. Um, real quick. <laughs> 100%. Right there with you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> the guy that's firing had no idea what he was coming into. I'm sure like 95% of firings just go with someone being like F you or something like that. Either it's uh, Either it's like so upset or whatever, but this one's just like, I'm going to try to hit you with facts and logic. And <laughs> The guy's just emotionally not prepared for this at all. Like, let me carve out the, the two threads, um, the ladder of why I'm on this conversation. I'll, I'll put that one to the second half, and Rosie might be better to explain the put process a pin in of who is giving this information in the prior piece, which is your uh, feedback and, and notes about your performance. So let me add a little color context to that. So um, just for clarification, you are not being singled out in this. Your peers are also being collectively um, assessed on performance. This is a collective collaboration for Cloudflare. So I just want to clarify that piece. I won't be able to add any kind of specifics on numbers or- Wait, yeah, no. Can you explain for me why Brittany Peach is getting let go? The, I won't be able to go into specifics for numbers. Wait, why though? I just started, I've been working extremely hard just because I haven't closed anything that has nothing to do with my performance. Yeah, okay, uh, hold on. I, I know she's like arguing the point, but what the hell is collective collabor uh, calibration? I, I I mean, that is a weird term. Does that mean like, what does that even mean? Like he can't even tell her specifics. Like, hey, we wanted you to meet X deals. You couldn't even meet X deals. Therefore, this. It sounds like layoffs. This sounds like layoffs. Collective tuning. Yeah, we're right sizing the department. Damn, dude, I would hate to get right sized right out. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. On a three-month ramp with just one month with two ho major holidays in the middle, I don't think that has anything to do with why I should be let go, if that makes sense. So I really need an answer and an explanation as to why Brittany Peach is getting let go. Not uh, by the way, it, it is a good point. Um, how many tech companies are making Cloudflare changes over the holidays? Right? Like, you, you want to change your st your tech stack? over the time in which your service is likely to be the most used. Like, so I don't really blame her. Like, I mean, it's kind of, it's, uh, it's kind of difficult to say that any person would want to do any sort of, of changing during this time. What did Baird say? Everyone's saying Baird, Baird. Uh, wasn't this the lady lay, uh, laid off like three months into her job that just means the employer is garbage at predicting their staff uh, needs quarter to quarter? They deserve roasting. Oh, okay. Is that what this is? I don't know yet. We're, we're still learning. Okay. Not why, Cloudflare decided to hire too many people and are now actually realizing that they can't afford this many people and they're letting that go. If that's the real answer, I would rather just you tell me that instead of making up some bullshit and telling me that right before I lose my job from someone that I've never met before, if you can respect that. Yeah, I can totally respect that. And I don't think Dom or myself today is going to give you any clarity. HR is so soft. HR is so soft. Clarity or answers that's going to um, meet the expectations that you're communicating to us, Brittany. So I. <laughs> that was the longest way to say no. I have never heard a no gen gently delivered so forcefully. That was the most gentle, forceful delivery of a no. So your expectations won't be met. <laughs> it's just like, what the hell? What the hell does that mean? So stupid. I can't speak to. So uh, am I getting let go for no reason? If you guys can't give me a reason. I'm yeah, there'd be no reason. I'm to follow up with you separately to give you the data that was calibrated. I'll need to speak with um, revenue leadership specifically to see if we can get that for you. But Dom and can I you share that with me that now? Meeting. I cannot share that with you right now, unfortunately. Yeah, it's understandable how you feel and your frustration cannot stress fired by the algorithm is pretty fucked up i'm not gonna lie to you that that's like enron style the enron style for those that don't remember the bottom 10 percent just got fired that is it there was no it doesn't matter if it was the all out bang out quarter of all time bottom 10 percent got 
to go. Enron was a Ponzi. It legitimately was a Ponzi, but still, like, this getting fired by Bing AI, crazy. I have been working extremely hard. I, sorry. I by, by the way, working hard does not mean anything. So I, I do want to throw that out there. If you say it, it doesn't matter how hard you work. Like real talk, it does not matter how hard you work. At the end of the day, it's about results. If someone can work 10% of the hours and produce the same results as someone working 40 hours, it should not matter which one. At the end of the day, it should just not matter. If you work five or you work 50, does not matter. Long as the end goal is what someone expects. And I think this is what we're missing here because obviously – HR here is so soft. They're so soft they can't say anything. And they're saying it so it makes it sound like she's getting fired by um yeah, especially in sales. Like sales is a the hardest hardcore number firing thing of all time. It's like, hey, you need to make X dollars for us. We're high we're paying you X, so you make Y. That's your job. Go do your job. And if you don't make Y and they just pay you X, I mean, it sucks. Sales is brutal. By the way, sale, like, you think programming is hard with your lattes and everybody loving you. You should try sales. I've done sales. It's the worst. I just knew that this meeting was coming after knowing what's been happening with my peers and how extremely frustrated and upset everyone is. Um, I know you guys must not be able to understand that given the, in the positions that you are in, and it must be very easy for you to just have these little 10-minute, 15-minute meetings tell someone that they're fired, completely wreck their whole life, and then that's it with no explanation. That's extremely traumatizing for people, if you can imagine that. And I don't, I don't think that this is, it's, it's just very, very shocking. Very, very shocking. I have like really given my whole energy and life over the last four months to this job. And to be let go for no reason is like a huge slap in the face from a company that I really she may have cooked a little too much on this part. You know, fi being fired sucks, and I, I totally get that. I always feel like in our in our call, I mean, f shoot, Asmund Gold just got done getting canceled. I guess I'm joining in on the cancel train. Um, I guess I, I guess I'm gonna jump on in on this one as well. The the hard part that I have with this is that trauma is like a real thing. People experience real trauma, and getting fired, I'm not sure if it counts as real trauma. I know everybody experiences something different. Someone who's used to the absolute tippity top of the luxury goes to just some run of the mill five star hotel and it sucks. Like, I get that. But, like, at some point, like, there's, there's trauma is subjective. This is 100% true. But it's like, at what point? Uh, I wonder if uh, the interview process, she led them to believe she had already business ready to sell, like a big client list. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, that's true. S salespeople do that. I mean, I hate to be that guy. I hate to say that, but I mean, the, the the thing I have about just the general modern language we take a bunch is that people who have real problems are getting equally lumped in with people that are having not as real of problems. I'm not saying that her life is not hard at this point. She's pro I don't know what she's doing, how hard it's been. Uh, obviously, recording yourself and then putting it out there is going to make it a lot harder. She may have broken the law if she's not in a single consent state. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot to it. Uh, Financial stress can be no joke. Yeah, I went through financial stress. I've been in it. You've heard my story. The guy below me, I had, I, I, the guy below me was a meth addict, and I had several altercations that were not pleasant experiences. I'm most certainly not saying that, but saying that being fired is equivalent to trauma. It's very difficult for me to, like, I don't know if I'd put that under the same thing as severe trauma. It's just I don't know if it's the same category. I understand that it's difficult, but difficult is not trauma. Really want it to believe in. I know some people aren't going to like this one. I understand how you feel that way, why you feel that way. And I'll be honest with you, there's nothing that we're going to. To be like, like, honestly, I think so. Just, just to put this out there. I think the real trauma is going to be caused by the recording of this. Like, I mean, I've been hearing about this for like a week and a half. I've been seeing it everywhere. Like, this is this is huge. Like, this is going to be hard, you know? Like I feel like I personally feel like this is the harder thing of the two. To say in this call and the time that we have, that's going to undo the way that you feel right in this moment. I personally will do everything that I can to give you as much specific information as I can after this call. I can't make any promises. Um, I understand where you're coming from. I can tell you that Dom and I do. 
Well, I got to put a pause on here. Someone said this. Uh, module. Module Tuck said, uh, my thoughts on all these layoffs are simple. If I can get fire slash laid off simply because of poor decisions by leadership, even if I'm a star employee, then why the hell put an effort if, uh, in if the effort doesn't matter in the long run? Uh, there are several reasons why you should always put in effort that are orthogonal to your job, like real talk. Like the more effort and stuff you put in, the more responsibility you're going to get. It's very difficult to gain responsibility and to be able to build things independently and make decisions. And so there is a benefit to putting in effort because when you put in effort, you get the reward. And the reward can simply grow your skill set so that you are more hireable and more desirable at several companies. And so I'm not saying that it's – I'm not one to say, hey, go bleed your whole life at a company. I said, you know, enjoy programming and lean in and become great at it. And these are one of the ways you can become great at it. It's very, very difficult to find yourself in charge of or running a project with people also making commits that are forced to make commits by being paid. Like that's a very hard thing to find yourself in unless if you go find it from a company. And so that's kind of my take on this is it's not – I don't do things because somebody else might do something. Does that make sense? Like I'm not – because at the end of the day, I, that's why I've said don't be loyal. Your job isn't to be loyal. Like if my job asks me to do something unreasonable, I'm going to tell them back I think this is unreasonable. Right now for the last few months, I've had a fairly shitty set of things I've had to do I would say at my job, things that are definitely unfun. And I try to find the joy in it, and I try to find a way to automate and make it so that things can be done. And I'm getting some people going, wow, hey, this is looking pretty good because you know this has been a very shitty thing for years. And now, hey, this is great. We're identifying. We're moving on. We're doing things. This is fantastic. And it's just like I want to be great for the sake of me being great. I want to be good at what I do for the sake of me being good because if I don't do that, like that is so, so, so difficult. Real talk, it's so, so difficult if you're constantly just waiting for somebody else to do something difficult and you're constantly dwelling on that. So you're constantly just trying to find the minimum. Like, dude, I can't live that life. I would be too demotivated. I'd be too deflated. I just, I would feel like shit constantly. So instead, I just choose something different. So why should, there you go. Sorry, I had to say all that. Anyways, let's keep on going. I don't know if she was treated unfairly, right? Uh, I think it's shitty if if Cloudflare overhired and then they had to fire a bunch of people. Is that unfair? I don't know. I have a hard time saying it's unfair. It's shitty for sure. And if they're going through and just firing teams based on like this team has performed less overall than this team and we just need the downsides, therefore – we're going to, you know, it's unfair not to call it a layoff. Exactly. That, that on the other hand, I do agree with that. If they're not calling a spade a spade, then it totally sucks, and I think it's very unfair. I think that is unfair, or I'd say that that's irresponsible or unethical. I'm not sure if I'd use the term unfair. You know what I mean? Because an unfair simply means like two people with the identical credentials are being treated Differently, if it's a team-based decision, they're just letting teams go. Like this team's performed less than this team. We're just simply getting rid of this team because we have to get. Like we're getting rid of this whole org, manager, team, everybody. Just get them all out. We're doing this. They're avoiding the term layoff because share value impact, and that's bullshit. I agree with that. That's if that's the case, that's stupid. I think that that's genuine. I mean, it's grody. Yeah, the CEO yeah, responded. I we're gonna find it. We're gonna listen to it next. Feeling that you have right now. Um, and I can't change that. So I'll just be honest. But why can't, that. so, but there, you guys have still not given me a reason why I'm being let go. Yeah, it sounds like they're laying off the team. Despite constant positive praise from my manager, great meetings that I'm having. They did give a reason. They said she didn't perform, but then she said, then she pressed him. And then they responded with, well, we're team calibrating, which means they're not actually firing her for performance. They're firing the team, all of her teams being let go. They even said that the entire team's being let go, which sounds. It doesn't sound like they're uh, doing that. Mass layoffs have more regulations around them. Yeah, I, I could see that. Um, the amount of activity that I have has all been positive. I have not received any negative inclination. I have not been put on a performance improvement plan. Um, nothing. So. 
Okay, one last pause. Yes, I do agree with this take right here, which is we cannot we can't technically assess that it is fair or unfair because we don't actually have the cloud fair perspective. We only have one perspective. From her perspective, it feels unethical. It feels shitty. Um but it's hard for me to say that it's I it, again, that's why I don't I don't like to use that term unless I I know that's what's being handled. I speak to what your manager has communicated to you directly. But that you should be the indication for, of for performance based on your attainment and leading indicators of data. I, that is that is the rationale. But I've been here for only a month after ramping, and that was during a holiday. So I don't understand what those. Can you explain what those performance metrics are, or is that just like a a, a vague term to give to everyone that you're speaking to today? I'll say that the the performance indicators and performance metrics are while they are we're not able to go into specifics and we won't there's no situation where we will be able to go into Do you guys even know? Do you guys even know like why like who you're talking to each day? Like every single 10 15 minutes do you guys even know who you're talking to? Like why you're letting these people go when you don't even understand like the kind of work and everything that they've put in? It's a pretty based question. Okay, I mean, I, I, I'm just gonna say that's you know, plus plus one for Brittany on that one. Brittany, plus one. I hear you and what you're saying. <laughs> it just doesn't make it. It just doesn't make. Is that HR training just to say I hear you? One hundred percent. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. One. Hey, one hundred percent. I hear you. I feel. I feel you. Feel and hear you. 100% of the time. It's just like, what the... Any sense that you guys have still not been able to give me a reason why I'm being let go? Just for, from a process perspective, your questions are valid. This isn't going to be the forum and the situation where we're able to go into the detail that you're but looking then, for. But then when? If it's not right as I'm getting fired, then it's certainly not going to be after when I'm no longer part of the company. No. So I don't yeah. think there's anything yeah. we can say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, you know, yeah, you, you know, yeah, I, I, I hear you. In this moment or today, Brittany, that's going to change the way that you Soft. feel. Soft. And it's under, again, like understandable. I'm taking notes and feedback. Hey, I need to be replaced. Back. Yeah, I know. You're 100% correct. HR should be replaced with AI, honestly. They only do the company bidding. They're only there to protect the company. Might as well just put an AI on it, honestly. They're there to protect the company, and that is that. Just put an AI there. You did that for me too, but that's... The meeting. Um, it's not going to change the outcome of the situation today, so it may be best if we I do get into more of the specifics of what the next steps are, um, because I think it's clear that you have questions that we cannot give answers to, and if you'd be open to it, I'd... By the way, notice that notice her her way she said it. You have questions that we cannot give answers to. It's not that we don't know the answers to. HR is careful with words, okay? They're not – they have to be. Notice the timestamp, 846. They have 15 minutes allocated per person. Yep, damn, that's true. Yeah, though that was very specific. That, that wording was intentionally chosen. We know. But we won't get into. She just won't say it's it's layoff. I mean, this for all intents and purposes, as far as I can tell, this is likely layoffs, and her team just wasn't performing as well as some other teams. So she got she caught astray, and I think it's probably a little unfair to judge like to fire her after because it's true when you're when you start working at a place, there is a ramp up period where you're just learning the lingo, learning this, learning that, and that's totally completely fair. I think Bisco brought up a good point. Maybe she sold in the interview process that she had a list of clients that she could sell to. Blah 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 blah. Totally like I mean. All of that's fair. That's like a huge thing of sales. People often bring in a person that has really strong sales, not because they think that they can sell really well, but because of the relationships they have. And so I totally get that. This is a, this is, you know, it's, there's something there, but they bring the client list. Exactly. They bring the client list. Love to move into what the next steps are so that you're not um, any further blindsided than you already feel. Okay. Thank you, Dom. Uh, okay, and I'm again. I'm really sorry that you're having this experience and feeling this way. 
on one of the things. By the way, that's such a stupid. That's like that. Sorry means nothing. That's the dumbest sorry I've ever heard. Sorry that you feel how you feel after I helped make you feel that way. Sorry about that. You know, like I, I didn't mean to take my hand, put it into a fist, and then punch you in the gut. But I had to. So sorry that you feel it now. I know fake empathy. It's all fake empathy. It's dude. The Silicon Valley is the fakest. Is it's 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 a sheen sheen of sheen of all the things that feel virtuous with none of them. That's all it is. We want to confirm is your personal email address because that's where. Um, all Fudge! That was loud. Last part. Last part. Little loud. Last part was a little loud. Little loud. Okay. Oh. Oh. Damn! I got, I got hit by that TikTok at the end. I was not aware that TikTok lasted for nine minutes. All right. All right. So let's uh, let's 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 see what people have to say here. So one of them is uh, co-founder and CEO of Bloom Tech, the school that invests in you. Will tweet as I wish and suffer the consequences. Okay, and then the response, of course, we're going to look at with Matthew Prince, uh, CEO of Cloudflare and co-founder. So we got two things. Okay, all right, some quick assumptive analysis. One, looks like the company was nuking most of the sales orgs if they, uh, if they are keeping less than 25% of the org. Uh, the calculus isn't, are they doing a good job, and have we given them a fair shake? It's more, who are the top performers we need uh, to keep them? Let's see, who are the top performers we need to keep th- uh, to keep have oh my goodness i i i'm having a stroke the stroke is happening uh we have to get rid of everyone else totally unfair to her it may have been nigh impossible to reach the performance bar required to stay but hard to say uh with no info i don't think that's again that's not unfair it's just like that sucks it's it's just sucks Right. I don't like to use the term unfair because if there's someone that's performing 5x better than you and you have to choose 3 people to stay and you have 10 there's, it's not – I mean it. the situation sucks that she was so new at the company she had no chance to prove herself, right? I think that's the sucky part is that everyone gets judged on the same scale despite the same time scale not being the same. You know, uh, The fact that uh, it's two HR people who don't know her is either a big misstep or it implies her manager and possibly her manager's manager are gone too. See, this is what I thought. I thought that the manager, like he's gone. When they say they're liquidating the, the, the sales team – Well, then what is the manager managing? Manager's probably gone too. The HR team was probably given a big list of names they needed to tell and probably had no clue as to why the decision-making led to some some staying and some going. That's not a fun position to be in, but could be the only alternative to mass firing in a giant Zoom meeting depending on how how much of management was also fired. Okay? Uh, It is interesting. You know, honestly, I think that me personally, I would rather have a mass firing than a one-on-one firing where they couldn't say anything. One in the chat if you would rather have just the mass firing or two in the chat if you'd rather have the personal. I don't see a lot of twos. There are some twos, though. It just feels kind of shitty because it's just like, what's the point of having a personal conversation if they can't say anything, right? It's not even personal. It's, it's being mass fired one at a time. Mass firing is a layoff, which impact which materially impacts the yeah the sales price yeah. Uh, I, I've had let's see I've had both mass email uh, slash call is way better since everyone else has to sit and wait their turn. Yeah, ooh Aiden, that's ooh 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 yeah Aiden you I mean and not only that but Aiden you just I mean literally Aiden is probably one of the best people to speak to this because you literally just got done having a little moment where you saw in the news that Twitch is laying off 30% of their staff, and you didn't even know the outcome of your life. You knew from Bloomberg that you were getting fired. And then it turns out you weren't one of the, one out of three people getting fired, which is crazy. Like, that's crazy to learn from, from Bloomberg that you're being fired. Like, not, not, a cool, not a cool thing. I got laid off from Twitch last year when, uh, oh my goodness, when they did the wait... Uh, for your turn method and it sucked yeah yeah because i can imagine because you'd be literally just days of like you halt the entire staff all together because every staff is just sitting there feeling like i'm gonna die yeah we had a mass email this time it fucking sucked but it was better than uh than that shit yeah man damn well, first off mr bite hate to hear that sorry about uh, sorry about that that shit sucks that's crazy that's crazy 
Man, a lot of people are in layoffs. Dang. Are layoffs still pretty strong? It is interesting that they are so clear it's performance-based and not a layoff. That's not an accident. Could be, uh, let's see, could be to avoid regulations around the WARN Act or as justification to give zero severance. Usually in this call, they go over the high level of that stuff. But this one took a turn. Sad across the board. Also, you got to remember, like, I still am I'm curious about the, the um, what's it called? The recording, by the way. Because, again, if she's in California... She broke the law, and like Cloudforce technically could sue her ass, which is crazy, right? Uh, we fired forty salespeople out of uh, out of over fifteen hundred in our uh, go to market org. That's a normal quarter. We uh, when we're doing performance management right, we can often tell within three months or less of a sales hire, even during the holidays, whether they're going to be successful or not. Sadly, we don't hire perfectly. We try to fire perfectly. In this case, clearly, we were far from perfect. This video is painful for me to watch. Managers should always be involved. HR should be involved, but it shouldn't be outsourced to them. No employee should ever actually be surprised they weren't performing. Remember, Look at what we're looking at here. We don't always get it right. Uh, this is the CEO. And sometimes underperforming employees at, uh, don't actually listen to feedback they've gotten before we let them go. So you're saying that you saying that there was underperformance here? Importantly, just because we fire someone doesn't mean they are a bad employee. It doesn't mean we won't really, really, uh, they won't be really, really great somewhere else. Chris Paul was a bad fit for the Suns, but he undoubtedly a great basketball player. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Did he just drop a sports ball reference? Did he just drop a sports ball reference? Dude, that's so. That is just so fucked up. That is just like the worst take in the universe. Honestly, this is just the worst take ever. Dude, ca- dude, poor Chris. First off, Chris Paul catching catching strays over here. Okay, Chris Paul was in there for uh, three years. Uh, it's, a, it's a nonsense because it has nothing to do with the fit or performance. It's not comparable uh, because the NBA is a huge company where a team can trade players. Lol. They just uh, fired uh, her ass after three months. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. There was three years versus three months. Obviously very, very different. You know a lot about a player after three seasons versus one season. Uh, and she's not even in for a season. Plus the holidays. I really doubt the holidays are a good way to really calibrate performance. I just really do. Uh, people, companies, everything act so different. I don't know. It just seems different. Anyways, uh, I can't come up with a good reason, so maybe I need to check. I need to think about this more. Why does this uh, Why does this not settle well with me? Because if it doesn't settle well with me, but I don't have a good reason, then maybe it shouldn't settle poorly with me. I don't know. I got to figure out stuff. And in fact, we think uh, the right thing to do is get people uh, we know are unlikely to succeed off the team as quickly as possible so they can find the right place for them. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, I, I technically agree with this statement. That if you know someone's not going to be a good fit, then maybe get them off the team. Like, I, I agree with that. We definitely weren't anywhere close to perfect in this case, but all healthy, but any healthy orgs need to get the people who aren't performing off. That wasn't the mistake here. The mistake was not being more kind and humane as we did. Dude, again, Silicon Valley empathy is just so stupid. It's the veneer of virtuousness so that everyone can go out and talk about how much empathy they have. The word empathy has been like the soup de jour word for like the last five years in the Silicon Valley, but it is so, so, so not empathy. That is not what they're doing. They have all the words of it. It's like AI. You know when AI creates an image, you look at the image? When I've been looking at AI images lately, it actually kind of makes me upset. I can look at them. They bother me. They're just like super average, really pretty images. Like they're just like the worst, right? They have all the looks of something creative without actually being creative. Is That's how I look at every one of them. They're just like they, – they, they almost they're, – they're like drinking diet soda. It's like just drink – motherfucking coke people like you're just 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 drink the thing stop drinking the the image of the thing it makes no sense and i'm just like i look at it and it's just like ai is the image of the thing and not the thing itself 
And this right here, the mistake that we are not more kind and humane as we did, is just, again, they're simply wanting to be more looking like the thing, but not being the thing. This is peak capitalism alienation. No, this is not peak capitalism alienation. This is just what happens when you have to when you have a like a cult a culture enforced on people, right? The Silicon Valley enforces some sort of quote unquote fake ass standard on everybody else. This is just yeah, this is just valueless society. This is just simply non like this is what it looks like when a bunch of lawyers and insurance companies get involved. Uh, that's something that Zatlin and I are focused on. Oh, oh, thank you. I bet you. I bet you. There's so much. Look at this. I enjoy building products that people love. Young global leader, 14, co-founder and president, Cloudflare. Amazing. And I have, uh, dude. By the way, poor Zatlin. Uh, Zatlin. She just got tossed in on this one. She just got tossed in on this one right here, and just getting ratioed. You know, she doesn't have a, you know, imagine, imagine you're like not that into Twitter and you, you go on and you have what appears to be about seven and a half thousand notifications. You're just like, ah, today's a nice day to go check Twitter. Oh shit. Like, <laughs> what did I get tagged in? Dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, again, as a company, you can't do this. Companies are not humane or kind. That's just that. If you're going to try to make every, like, how I look at it is that when they do these firings, no matter how nice they sound, they're still putting the dagger in. It's just like, ah, oh, we love you. We're, we, I know, it, this hurts, doesn't it? Ah, oh, gosh, I can't believe it hurts. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, you know, I really feel, you, you got it, you got it. I'm just going to keep pushing. The, I, I, I hear you 100%. I just got to put in a little bit more. And then, yeah, now I got to twist it. I'm going to I'm gonna twist it now, okay? But I'm humane about it. I'm telling you before, yep, see, now I just twisted it. But I love you so much. I'm so sorry. Okay, you can go now. It's just like, yeah. You're not humane. You can't be humane. You're a company. It would be so less bad if companies just were like, we're not humane. We make decisions based on profits, and we fire fast. If they just say that, then you know what you're getting yourself into, and there's no surprises. And then they can just be like, yeah, you didn't perform. We fire you. We fire fast. That's that. I would be less taken back because I knew the stakes that I was given. Not some fake ass, really nice, everybody's nice, oh, everything's great, oh, but we're gonna kind of fire you kind of approach to life. It's just so stupid. It's just so stupid, and it just makes a bunch of people feel really happy and virtuous about themselves with absolutely none, with no virtue. Yes, Europeans don't understand anything about Firefast. I get it. Yeah, with communism, there's no companies. Think about that. Okay, you got, got them. I don't even think you're correct on your communism take to begin with. Communism mentioned. Let's go. All right. Anyways, this is totally effed up. And uh... <laughs> Ryan Winchester. Let's go, Ryan Winchester. Let's go, Ryan. I'm glad that... Uh... I'm glad to see this. By the way, this is also good. Okay, hey. Hey, Shane, good one right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, firing 2 to 3% of your networks uh, or of your employees every quarter is wild. It is because they're low performing or are you just firing the bottom percent of your company every quarter? Because if it's the second part, I cannot imagine the stress your employees are under. This is some straight up and wrong shit, right? She, she is right. If you are firing 2 to 3% of your employees every quarter, you might not be that good at hiring. Or B, you are literally firing some percentage. Here's to a new year. Be uh, grateful to have uh, been named one of the 2024's best places to work with built-in in Austin, Chicago, D.C., and San Francisco. We are hiring for in-office, remote, and hybrid opportunities across multiple locations. Now, again, this is also sales, right? Sales represents only a certain portion of actual company. So, you know, is the streaming side as bad – or the streaming side. Sorry, that's Netflix talk. Um, is the is – the, is the product side, the the uh, the engineering side, nearly as bad? Is it ran completely different? I don't know, right? I know I said the streaming side. That's stupid, stupid of me. That's like ten percent of your workforce every year. Yeah, 
There's just something completely wrong. That's firing the bottom 10%. That's like literally Cloudflare. I mean, that's literally Enron. Enron fired 10%. He just admitted that he has the same practices as Enron firing the 10% of his employees per year. Again, it's also sales, though. Sales is just different. I can, I can totally get that. Sales is different. I don't know a lot about sales. I know that in sales, it's a lot more cutthroat. It's a lot different. Sales is rough. Sales is not like something to behold. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of. There's a lot of people in here that it's been a part of sales, and it is not fun. It is like it is not a fun experience. I've been trying to sell these odd ladies for now, for for a while now. It's rough. Sales equals Chris Paul. Sales equals Chris Paul. A gen. <laughs> 